boom. We're about to head home. Like fishing rod and cast. Got all the things. I got um, a hacksaw and I got a respirator so that I don't die of disease. I want to get a nice one. I really want to get a nice one. And then they were out. They were out of all the nice ones. So I got the, the cheapo ones. But gotta have something. I can't just go dying. I had to cut the metal rod. So I bought the metal rod and I didn't think, how am I gonna cut this? So I had to look up how to cut metal and I realized I could do it with a hacksaw. So I got a hacksaw. So hopefully the hacksaw is enough, but I don't have a vice grip. I honestly should just be going to Bova's house so that I can just do this correctly, but that's no fun. So I got a hacksaw, I got a respirator, I even got a vacuum bag that might not work with my vacuum because we're not thinking things through, but that's fine because projects have to happen and I want to make this thing. This is called hating yourselves, everybody. You couldn't just get an actual saw. So you do it by hand because you want it cut. Mm -hmm. But you don't have a work shed yet and you're too stubborn to go to Bova's house. I don't know if you can see that. Where are we at? So it is happening. It's just slowly. This is what happens when you get metal. Okay? And you try to do it with a hacksaw. Muck was like, you can't cut through metal with a hacksaw. I can cut through metal with a hacksaw. Oh no. Crap. Done. I did it. I did the thing. Ugh. Probably sand that down. Just a little bit. I don't know, it might not matter because it's not going to hit anybody. I'll probably sand it down anyway. Cool. Next thing. Gotta get this guy ready. So we got our pattern. I guess the plan is I probably should take this down. Oh. We said we were gonna take this down. We said we were learning from our mistakes. I have tape. She thought she could come up here into my room and not get loved. So now I'm holding her. Look at her. She's like, I don't want to be held no more. But I love her. You're such a cute little baby. Oh, she wants out. <gasps> but I love you. But I love you. I love you. Okay. <gasps> Scurry along. First part of the knife. And that'll get beveled and sanded and stuff, so that'll... Good start. Next piece. Right. Boom. So not perfect, but it'll get there. And so the rod... Is this it? No. Where'd it go? So give it some weight, because it's like a metal rod. And this is just a prop. It won't be used to hit anybody. Just to go on my kit and look cool. So we'll put that in there, and then we'll beef up the handle just a bit with some more foam. So I'll probably cut that pattern into another piece to get myself a handle that's a little more, like, rounded. And then we'll sand, or we'll bevel this down. And that'll be our knife. Safety's important, so we're wearing safety stuff. To be safe. You can't even see me talk. Probably know this is a voiceover. You'll never know. Safety! Let's grab my marker. And we're going to put it about there. So it's going to end here. And here. 
We're just gonna draw oh, that's a fucking janky ass line. Shit, how am I gonna do that? Hmm. Can I like Oh, that might work. Okay, so let's. let's get really thick. And then before it dries, we're gonna. Okay, we got like a faint line. So about there. We know how things work. This is coming along super well. Like, for first EVA foam project, I think it's looking super good. So, I'm gonna have to build the handle out still just a little bit. I think one more layer of foam and then we'll bevel it. And that'll be good. And then I'll bevel the blade on these markings here down to a point so it's not this big bulky edge. But like, honestly, super happy with this so far. This has been fun. A lot of progress in one night. Woo! Bam! Oh no. Dangerous. Okay, so I'm gonna start this beveling process. And I think I'm gonna start with cutting the blade, like starting it with like a bevel, and then just finishing it off with the Dremel tool. It's still blinking, right? Yep, yeah, it is. So, I love how, oh, that's definitely safe. Super safe. I know it's not going to look pretty. Oh, is it going to let me do that? Is the material going to let me do that? Like, can I not? Oh, maybe not, because it's so thin. Let's just go straight to the bevel tool and see what we can do. I think I gotta casually work to that bevel, because right now I don't even think I'm close to the... to the... the pointed edge on that other side. Am I? No, not really. So I gotta casually work it up. And I could probably... oh well, this is probably better than a sander. I'm just going to casually work my way to that line. And if you're watching me do this and you're like, Oh, Rin, you're so bad. Please let me know, because I would love to know how I could do this better.
This is so cool. Like watching it take shape is really, really cool. The way you just see the bevel, I'm like, I know I'm gonna flash dip it. I'm like, I don't know, just like, this comes so far in a night. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna stop here. And I was like, nah, man, let's keep going. Because the drum is starting to get hot. But like, look at that. I don't know if you can see that super well. Versus like this flat side. That's so cool. Ugh. I feel like I'm getting hype over something really small, but I'm excited. Let's get the other side done. Let's get the other side started. Okay, so I think the thing is there, is I should have beveled the edge to be, so this edge, I should have beveled that, or like smoothed it down before I started carving the sides, because that way I'm not getting rid of my lines as I'm going. I think it's easier, because like right now I'm like getting the issue that this, this side's coming to the point, or this side's coming to the point, and this side's not meeting it, so I should have just beveled this whole thing across because that way it would have been even. And I think it would have been less of an issue. We learn. That's what we're here to do, we're here to learn. Screaming at me. Do I have a screwdriver? And don't be like me. Use an actual screwdriver. Don't use a knife that you have lying around. This is my time. I mean, if you want dust particles in your mouth, yes. I'm gonna kind of kiss your forehead and I'll leave. I'm okay. just trying to see if my glasses are here. Um, I haven't seen them. Sorry. Do you want to maybe do breakfast? I would love to do breakfast. Yeah. What time? Um, well, I have no idea. She wants to get breakfast. It's really exciting. <laughs> I can rev my engine. Make me something. I don't think I'll get like one of those Dremel kits like with all the bits. I am I am in love with this tool right now. Alright, I think that's what I'm gonna call it right now. I don't know if I'm gonna bevel this. I'm gonna go talk to more about it real quick. See what she thinks. But dude. Dude, this is sick. 
Super sick. Super proud of this so far. Gosh. Okay. Cool.